hello once again folks and welcome along to another video from gun dog and fly beautiful morning here in tipperary sun is shining got a bit of frost but it's a beautiful morning and um a good morning for training a young dog like rua here rua is five months old now and um i think she's going to be a very special dog she's got a very high drive and a very strong hunting instinct which is a great foundation for for a gun dog and um <clears throat> What I'm doing up to now with her basically is some very basic um, training such as recall. I then started her, if you look at my last video, I started her off quartering, i.e. working from left to right in front of me. But we've developed a little problem and um, we're going to try and remedy it this morning. Now for her tender age, just five months, She's got an extremely high prey drive. Since the very first time she met any game bird, she has had, her gears have gone up, her speed has gone up, her intensity, everything has gone up. And because of that, she has now decided that um, my whistle is not relevant to her anymore. She decided to ignore it. So I'm gonna try and remedy that here this morning. Um, and how I'm gonna do that, I'm going to use this rope here. I'm going to put about 20, 25 meters of this rope and attach it to this little collar. And I'm going to get Rua to respond to the whistle again. Just a little reminder, it's no pain for her in any way. It's just a reminder that I'm the one in command. That essentially she cannot do exactly as she wants. She has to comply and respond to the whistle command. So that's what I'm going to do here this morning, but before I do that, I'm just going to show you a little video of how unresponsive she has become. And you can, um, you can see how can that can develop into a major problem over time, insofar as if she's ignoring the whistle at this point and it's not corrected, well then she will get into that habit and then she'll get completely out of control. And then she's the boss and uh, she'll be doing what she likes forever more and I'll be just an onlooker. And we can't have that, can we Rua? So be sure to stay with me and we'll see how I'm going to attempt to correct this little problem. Good girl. Yeah. Rua. Now she has a little scent there, so uh, <laughs> she's so I'll, I'll actually allow her that indiscretion. But now, now she did respond fine that time. Now you can see the ignoring. So you can see now how this could develop into a major problem. So, here she comes. And again, you can see her, she's completely ignoring the whistle now at this point, so. Nothing for it except for the check cord, i.e. the rope. Kitty, come on. Rua, Rua, come on. Now. Now I'm going to, um, like I said, I'm going to get around 25, 20, 25 yards of the, the little rope, the check cord, and I'm going to um, attach it to her and then allow her to run off and we'll see if we can correct her. You're not going to like it, girl. Oh. Now I've attached the rope, as you can see. 
Now the problem with a collar and a rope is that she's going to feel attached to you like she is with the standard lead. See, she's used to, when I, re when I remove this lead, that she has complete freedom. So when I take this off, she's not going to really notice it. She's going to think that, hey, 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 hey. she's going to think that the, this lead is still on her, where in fact it's not, it's this new one. So to get her to go out then might be an issue because she's so used to going out when this is released when she's free from this. So we'll give it a try and good girl. we'll see how she'll respond, if at all. Now, again, hold up. That's better. Come on. The scent there again. It'll help too if you go to a place where there's very little scent or none at all, preferably. Come on. Yeah, there's scent there and that's distracting her. Come on. No response, give it a pull. While this is not a perfect demonstration, it takes time, of course, to perfect it. Um, over time, this will correct the problem of not responding to the whistle. Every time she doesn't turn immediately, you just give it a tug. That's all there is to it. It's that simple. Good girl, Rua. So, I'll be working on this now for the next few days. I'll bring her out maybe twice a day. And when she doesn't respond, just give it a tug. Simple as that. She then learns that the whistle means that you have to turn. It's that simple. So, there we go folks, that's it for today. Rua. Good girl. Perfect recall. Anyway, that's it for today folks. Thanks once again for joining me and good day on Kedo Rere. On fan, I guess I'll Rua and Shaw. Long forward. Good girl. Hey! Hey!